today we will be talking about matrices. So, what is a matrix? A matrix is a two-dimensional arrangement of numbers in rows and columns enclosed by a pair of square brackets in the form shown in the board. The figure shows an M times N matrix of M rows and N columns. Matrices are used to describe linear equations, keep track of the coefficients of linear transformations and to record data that depends on multiple parameters. This video is focused to those who already have a solar base or matrices knowing how to sum and multiply them. Therefore, we will focus on teaching two solving methods, Gauss and Kramer. Let's start with Kramer. Our set of equations is 2x plus y equals 7 and x minus 2y equals 2. Once we have this system of equations, we're going to go further and start doing our first matrix. So our matrix is equal to 2, 1, 1, and minus 2. Now we're going to do the amplified matrix. Our amplified matrix is 2, 1, 1, minus 2, and 7 and 2. These are the both these are the matrix and the amplified matrix we obtain from this two equations. Now we're going to do the determinant of A and start with the Kramer mode. Our determinant of A, which is equal to minus 5, and then we will start with the Kramer mode. In X. In X, our numerator will be the matrix changing the first column for the amplified matrix. And our determinator will be the determinant of A. Here we get the solution by doing first the determinant of our matrix, changing the inverse, and get we get minus 16 over minus 5, which is 16 over 5. For Y, our numerator will be our matrix but changing the second column for the amplified matrix. The denominator will be the determinant of A. By calculating it, we get the solution of Y, which is 3 over 5. And this are our two solutions. X, X equals 16 over 5 and Y, 3 over 5. Well, right now we are going to show you how to do the Gauss-Jordan method. What we need to do is first get this the system of equations and in the end get the identity matrix in order to get the solutions. For the beginning, as you can see the system of equations, we're going to transform it into a matrix. Each of them with the different x's and y's but with their numbers. And then the amplified matrix. We close it. What we need to do is basically, in order to get the amplified matrix, we need to be changing the different rows in order to get the a column of 1 0 0 the second column has to be 0 1 0 and the third column has to be 0 0 1 so that's why we need to be changing different rows in order to get those values right now we're going to take the second row and divide it by 2 as you can see it's changing all the all the values of the matrix in order to get the identity matrix as for now what we have to do is to add the first row and the second row and to add the third row plus 9b. As you can see it's one half or minus one half minus one half and then we and then we keep going. Right now we only have to do minus 2c. As you can see we're getting closer and closer into the identity matrix which is going to give us the solution. And finally what we are doing here is a minus C divided by 2 and B plus C divided by 2 and at the end as you can see we have the identity matrix just that the amplified values are different now those new values are the solution Wow, there's so much homework to do actually I am feeling hungry 
Oh, I remember, I have some turkey and corn pancakes. But I should take care of my calories and proteins. Wait. So, I have to achieve a total of 636 calories and 72 grams of protein. Maybe with a matrix I could do it. Well, let's say that a package of turkey X has 208 calories and 34 grams of protein. And a package of corn pancakes Y has 110 calories and 2 grams of protein. Well, the functions will be the following. 208x plus 110y equal to 636, 34x plus 2y is equal to 72, therefore the following matrix is 208, 110, 636, 34 to 72. Well, in order to solve it, let's use the Kramer method. Well, we can see that the determinant of the function of the matrix in this case would be the following 416 minus 3740 is equal to minus 3324 therefore we can see that computing by the primary method x is equal to 2 and y would be equal to 2 as well therefore the solution shows that we have to consume a total of two packets of turkey and two packets of corn pancakes.